Welcome to the Prep Athletics Podcast. This is Corey Heights. Some battles. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if they got us. If they did, maybe, maybe. So you will get better as a player during that year. So it was kind of exciting. Like, oh, yeah, somebody wants me. So tell me, if I'm a kid reaching out to Juco Advocate on Twitter, like, what are some things that will make you take on that kid and want to show him off the Juco junior college coaches? And what are some things that you see where that's just not going to be a good fit? Yeah, it's um, it's hard because kids, I know, I, I guess at this point, that the competition level is crazy, you know, for any sort of position at any level. Right. It doesn't matter. You know, we're talking high major division one or division two NAIA. Like it's it's chaos. Right. And so really making yourself stand out is is a key to it. And, you know, my I get 150, 200 messages a day on mm. just on Twitter. Right. Let alone all the other things that are going on. And so um, unfortunately, like I can't help everybody. And, and one of the things that, that can really kind of help people stand out is just how they interact with you via that message. Um, having all their stuff together, that first crack, like I don't have time to ask a thousand questions, you know, and pull things out of you. I used to, I, I, I just don't anymore. And so, you know, I, I'm constantly looking at messages and passing information along quickly um, where, you know, I, I, I can't spend days, uh, you know, in most cases, um, trying to find schools, trying to find opportunities and things like that. So what I, I guess I probably do the most these days, uh, on, except for choices that I make where I'm reaching out to certain players and moving, you know, things and, and all that is I will, I will give you, um, the exposure of our network, which is, is pretty vast, uh, but in a, in a relatively short period of time. So you need to have everything together you know you need to have your film you need to have your contact information i shouldn't be asking about your grades like if you reach out like i need to know what they are because it it really matters for uh you know what you could qualify for level wise what you could qualify for scholarship wise uh junior college is a space where your academics do matter people think like oh junior college is just for you know dumb kids like that's it couldn't be further from the truth um and so it's if you're a high academic kid, maybe you can't get a full scholarship on the athletic side of it because not all junior colleges are fully funded with full academic scholarships across the entire roster. But some guys are able to piece together academic and athletic money. And if you're a good student, you can get money from that, um, especially at the Division II level, which there are tons of, of really good Division II junior colleges that send players on to four year levels. A lot of those don't have full scholarships. And so if you're academic, you can get, you can basically get the whole thing paid for. Um, so I need to know that stuff though. Right. As opposed to like, hi, my name is so-and-so and I'm six foot two and you know, I'm good at basketball. Like I get those messages all the time and I'm like, what do you want me to do with that? I'm a hard worker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm a guy, you know, I just need an opportunity and it's like, okay, I understand like everybody needs an opportunity, but I also have to have something to work with. Yeah. And, um, so, you know, the most information you can kind of pack into something that that allows me to take a couple minutes to watch your film and at least decide whether or not it's something, you know, to, to dig further into or to, to send to somebody I know or even just put it out on our social media stuff. Um, you know, we're, we're fortunate that we've gotten to the point where if we put somebody's stuff out there uh, and, and they're they're good enough, like they're usually going to get contacted by somebody. And so. Yeah, because you've vouched for them if you've put them up. They've right. got through all those firewalls to get to that point. Yep. 